Hey everyone, welcome You've back with Dino Mac, where once again we're going to continue circle. our playthrough of Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase on Keep the PS1. Licensed Thursday, you guys get the idea by this point. <laughs> so every single week we play here. licensed games, whether it be Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, Adult Cartoons, so on and so forth. But what we're going to do here is we're going to continue our playthrough of Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase. So... Those Let's get going. May look cute, Shaggy, but they throw now, this is probably snowball. one of my favorite aesthetically pleasing levels, in my opinion. Problem, you know, you kind of, once again, it's kind of like a, a base off of a Crash Bandicoot game, so you kind of have those things to just roll back and forth. But, uh, you know, I just, I don't know. I've, ice levels are kind of hit and miss for me. Jeez, what was the point of that? You know, I kind of feel bad hitting these uh, cute little animals, but... They are trying to attack me, so I mean, survival of the fittest here, you know? That's just how nature is. Whoa, Shaggy! <laughs> be careful! Those icy surfaces can be slippery! <laughs> yeah! Oh boy, the icy surfaces. They can be slippery. I- that's... Snow levels, it depends, because I mean, I think they have a lot of really cool things. I don't know how I didn't just get hit right there, but I think they have a lot of cool stuff with them. But, uh, you know, especially when it's nighttime and stuff like that, I like the look of the ice in this level. I think older games, because of how bad the graphics are, they can sometimes just look better in a weird way. Like, I think if this was like high res, I just wouldn't really like the aesthetics as much. But, uh, then there are like the things like the actual physics. I cannot stand in uh, ice games or ice levels or whatever, but uh, I know that a lot of times they can be kind of bland too, with just nothing but snow and all this other stuff, so I don't know. I know, I think sewer levels and um, water levels are the least popular, but sometimes for me, ice levels can be up there for me. Wait, what? They keep respawning? See, to me, I can't even really tell what isn't slippery and what is. I, can't, I cannot get past this guy. They got birds now. Alright, we made it to the checkpoint. Surprisingly, I have not fallen victim to any of those, uh... Oh, what? See, I hate death perception in some of these games. This game has some pretty bad death perception at times. I didn't know that guy was in the air. You know he's in the air. But yeah, I'm surprised I haven't been screwed over by the the moving ice things. I don't even know. It's kind of a weird level to put something like that in, if I were being honest. Like, who's moving those? I don't think that's how nature works. Uh, got us again, birds. Hey, what? I press jump. Come on. Will you get out of my damn way? Arctic seals. More like he's about to be an Arctic squeal. <laughs> got him. <laughs> All right, I get it. I'm not very funny. Jeez, I'm still on the ice. Like I said, I like what was different about what I was just on. In comparison to the ground I'm on now, I mean, you can kind of see some more snow, but... I don't know, I just wish there was more... telling where you were. Also, I didn't even realize this. Shaggy has a... It's pretty nice detail that Shaggy actually has a different costume for this. Pretty awesome. Well, that was actually a pretty quick level, all things considered. It's all downhill from here, Shaggy. One down, you two to go, fellas. To get down this flume. You can break and you can swerve, but Oh, this is going to be an interesting one so from the looks of it. And watch out for penguins. You know, Who built those igloos? Here we go. Watch for penguins. All right, this is either going to be a really fun level or a very, very frustrating one. 
Time will tell. I, I'm not really liking these physics. <laughs> First penguin. We're doing great. Holy fish space, and we are... I hope I can't, like, just fling myself off of the wall here, because if you can, I'm definitely going to be, uh... I'm definitely going to be just flying right off. But I think I'm good. But this is not easy to control. You go a little bit to the left, you're going all the way to the left. There's no, you know, finessing the controls here. Jeez, even the penguins are taking each other out at this point. This is crazy. Oh, this is a pretty cool section. Good lord, where are these penguins even coming from? I mean, it kind of made sense. I could, You could make the argument they were coming from up over the hill at first, but... I don't know, they just kind of don't care. What if I miss that? Can I miss the checkpoint? Oh no, I think I might be able to fall off of this. Just please do not make it. No, no. Okay, how am I supposed to avoid that? Oh jeez, the penguins are literally running into each other. That was close. All right, I just gotta stay on this side. Ooh. All right, we got past them. I feel like there's going to be at some point there's going to be like five of these guys all in front of me. Just bumping into each other. All right, this isn't bad. But man, it's, it is pretty hard to kind of land where I want to go and pick things up. Jeez. What? Did I not get that? Oh... Come on. This is getting, this is just getting goofy. Real fickle. Jeez, I can't even move forward. All right, we got past some that time pretty easy. We're just gonna have to break and make sure that we get it. Oh geez, now he passed me. I don't know how that guy didn't just hit me, but I ain't complaining about it, let's put it that way. Alright, uh, we're coming up on it. I'm kinda nervous, I'm, I'm scared. I think it's coming up. There it is. Yes! Okay, okay, we got it. Alright, this one just doesn't even have any sort of siding. So, I mean, that's pretty dirty how they do it. Okay. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that one. We're just gonna have to slow down and hope for the best. But this guy's in my damn way, so, uh, what are those two doing here anyway? Kind of cool, I mean, they got different penguin models, but what are they just stand there for? All right, we just gotta take our time, nice and slow. Wait a minute. What? So I have to do it at a certain speed or else I'm just not gonna make the jump either? What were they thinking? Okay, okay, we just gotta wait until he dies, and then as soon as he goes, uh, uh, we made it, but he didn't. I could have swore he fell off a lot sooner the first time I went, or the, I guess the second time I went through there. So, I mean, come on, we need a checkpoint here, or else uh, we might have to redo that whole section again, so. Jeez. Give me a second, Velma. I think my legs have frozen stiff. <laughs> okay, though, but, uh... You again. All right, all right. I, I was worried I was going to miss it, but... This is just getting I wonder if that's a thing you can do. Like, just imagine losing the whole level because of that. But now it's time for boss time. And it looks like we're facing the phantom virus himself. But once again, that's a pretty cool jacket they gave uh, Shaggy, the nice attention to detail. It always upsets me in games when like they have the models for all this stuff, but you don't have the option to choose what you want to wear and stuff like that, or who you want to play as. It just kind of seems silly to me. But we play as Shaggy this time, so I'm assuming... So that's two Shaggies in a row. I'm assuming that we're going to face uh, Scooby. Not face Scooby. Jeez, I can't even think. I'm assuming we're going to play as Scooby next level. So if you guys are interested in watching this again, or watching next week, staying tuned, then uh, 
Hopefully you look forward to seeing Scoobert instead of Norvell. And uh, I would just like to say, uh, post-editing, that I had the hardest time on this boss. Trust me. This guy is no joke. It's the ice physics that really do it to me. I, I don't care what anybody says, there's no... I'd love to... I'd love to shake the hand of the man who can best this thing. I mean, I'm getting my butt whooped. Alright. And it doesn't help that I'm sliding while I'm trying to aim. But there's no flawless victory for me here. And even these snowballs, they get so big, I don't care. You're not dodging them. Alright, I didn't think I knew I didn't have a chance, so I had to end it. That's all, folks, for this week. Make sure to stay tuned for next week's episode of License Thursday, and if interested, see what else I play as I play Monday through Friday every single week with each day having a different theme. If enjoyed, please like and subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of the daily content and posts. License game playthroughs every single Thursday, so make sure to check out next week's video as well. Above all else, please. Remember to have a nice day.